you don't need to worry about the EM radiation emitted by your smartwatch. Hi, I'm Keegan Leach. I'm a researcher at Africa Tech in South Africa, and I love debunking false claims like the ones made in this video that EM radiation emitted by telecommunication devices is dangerous. Stop wearing these smart watches. I've warned you about electromagnetic frequencies, radio frequencies, this close to your body. Well, a watch right on your body, putting that frequency in all day long, not a good idea. Electromagnetic radiation is better known as light. It includes visible light, and it does include some dangerous forms of radiation, like gamma rays and x-rays, but these are very high energy radiation known as ionizing radiation, because they can damage cells and cause cancer. Non-ionizing radiation includes things like visible light and lower energy radiation that's used in telecommunication devices. It's what allows things to talk to each other wirelessly. It allows your phone to connect to your Wi-Fi router and to your Bluetooth earbuds and to your smartwatch in this case. This particular video was posted by someone named Mike Pompa. He goes by Dr. Pompa online, although he's not a medical doctor. He's trained as a chiropractor, for which there's little scientific evidence to support the practice practice, and it means that he's definitely not qualified to give medical advice. He also makes some comments about EM radiation that implies he doesn't know what it is or how it works. Another thing that sets this video about smartwatches apart is that Pompa also says, Oh my gosh, could it get worse? Notre Dame study, they looked at 22 different watches. 15 out of the 22 had high dangerous levels of, guess what? Forever chemicals. If you got a natural rubber, totally different. But these aren't natural rubber because they're conducting into the body. But that's what they said, that the forever chemicals are being absorbed right into your bloodstream. He actually cites a scientific paper for this claim. But we looked into it and we found that he's misrepresenting the paper and its implications. For more on that, including comments from one of the paper's authors, check out our full fact check at africacheck.org.